Now at 11 and streaming on CBSN Los Angeles, more pieces of the puzzle are coming together and what led up to a deadly movie set shooting involving Alec Baldwin. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. Now here's a rough timeline. Six hours before the New Mexico shooting yesterday, several crew members walked off the set complaining about pay and safety concerns. An assistant director handed Alec Baldwin what he thought was a cold prop gun, meaning it wasn't loaded with live rounds, but it was. Baldwin was rehearsing a scene when he accidentally shot Helena Hutchins in the chest, killing her. Here's CBS 2's Nicole Comstock. The 911 call came in as an accident, but some in the film industry say the fatal shooting of a rising star cinematographer on the set of an Alec Baldwin film was an accident waiting to happen. They sent them all the way to the edge of the boonies, um, and then at, on top of that, you're, you're freaking firing real bullets on them. Are you out of your mind? Director Bandar Albalui knew the victim, Helena Hutchins, from AFI, the LA film school they both attended. He says multiple reliable sources who worked on the set told him union crew members voiced concerns about turnaround time, with their hotel rooms being 50 miles away from location, as well as gun safety on the set of Rust for days before the shooting. He says before those union members walked off, they were ordered. Ordered to leave. And so they left and they ended up going to hire non local union members for all of the camera crew roles. And I don't even think it was just camera that left. I think it might have been people in the props department to handle the guns. Friday, an affidavit filed by the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Department revealed an assistant director declared the gun safe before he handed it to Baldwin by shouting out cold gun, meaning it did not contain live ammo. However, when Baldwin pulled the trigger, a projectile hit Hutchins in her chest, killing her and hitting director Joel Susan in his shoulder. The affidavit also stated the AD did not know live rounds were in the prop gun, which had been prepped by an armorer beforehand. The question is, whose fault was this? Mitra Ahorian is an entertainment attorney. She says investigators will try to determine whether or not a pattern of safety violations existed on set. And if they find that negligence led to Hutchins' death, they'll have to determine which production members will take what percent of responsibility, which include the film's star and co-producer, Alec Baldwin. So even though he is the actor, might be okay. Maybe there is some liability as, like you said, a producer. Al Baloui has since launched a Change.org petition in honor of his late friend to ban the use of real firearms on film sets. And he's calling on Baldwin to use his power and influence to help make the change. And we have a link to a GoFundMe account that Helena Hutchins Union Local 600 set up for her husband and for her nine-year-old son. And also a link to that change.org petition on our website, cbsla.com. I'm Nicole Comstock, CBS 2 News.